Okay, quick update. We have the ZA bands, uh, the plus version running in CTrader. We have the ZA trend indicator. That's out to the group. So we're up and running on those. And we have our first CBOT, which is the Triad EA as a CBOT ready to launch uh, to the CTrader group. So the good thing about the triad, it's exceptionally powerful uh, on both lower time frame and higher time frame. So it's the perfect uh, CBOT to use for uh, prop trading, just like we use it for prop trading in the Moneyball triad and Trident EA program, where we have three EAs, all the indicators, all the training, Discord room, and uh, Telegram room, all part of the program. So anyhow, we have that up and running. This is CTrader, which inherently has Renko's. And uh, that went out to the group today. The two new indicators now approved by me and now running in CTrader and on deck now for the Triad CBOT uh, this week. So CTrader program spooling up. Okay, let's take a look at current market conditions. Uh, we did have some initial you know, back and forth in the overnight session. There was a decent trade set up here. The market pretty much held pivots. The opening was very, uh, very, you know, whipsaw a bit. And, you know, it's going to do one of two things. They're either going to run the recent highs fast or they're going to run and test some of the low pivots. All the buying was getting absorbed, so likely we got an institutional pump job day in play. Uh, we do have PPI on Wednesday and then what, CPI Thursday. So most likely they're running the market up so they can distribute ahead of those reports. Very likely CPI will be up uh, over what expectations are. So institutions are frantically working to push the markets up with uh, Fed discount window money pump jobs to distribute as high as they can ahead of those reports. Uh, and it's unfortunate, but markets at times love war because uh, defense stocks do good. It looks like congressional uh, people were buying defense stocks ahead of the, uh, you know, perfect timing. We're buying ahead of the conflict between uh, Israel and Hamas and all the fighting going on, you know, Gaza Strip, Lebanon, Israel, and so on. Just a big, gigantic mess. It's completely uh, sad that we have these uh, global proxy wars going on in multiple theaters. Uh, just a complete waste on, on all sides. So anyhow, uh, I like the fact that this cycled a bit and we went from red back to green. So somebody wasn't all that convinced to be a buyer. When you see the pivots higher and you see the indicator cycle from red back to green, that's not a bad area to finally get in. We had both bands cross on this push. So technically that was the uh, where the faster bands were both closed above the lower bands. And that was a, a good entry point and it held. And then now we've had this institutional where they're pumping uh, stocks, options, uh, what are they doing? They're pumping stocks, options, and uh, uh, futures. And when, when they're doing all three in concert, that's an agenda move. They're moving the market to a level usually where they can go distribute out of positions. So that's where we're at. We had the long on the lower time frame there. This has been long from earlier in the morning. And uh, we're getting some back and forth in here. And we're getting institutionals attempting to push, 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 keep causing more short covering and keep suckering in more uh, breakout or buyers into the highs of the morning. So anyhow, just wanted to touch base that uh, we have the CTrader program spooling up for CBOT and optimization will start playing out this week. Uh, we got the tools in the traders' hands as of this morning needed for the triad. Now I just need to give them the CBOT and uh, I have that in testing. So anyhow, onward and upward. If you have any questions on the Moneyball, Triad, and Trident EA program, 
basically, it's built specifically for going and attacking prop accounts. Uh, we do have a Discord and a Telegram room, as I've mentioned before, available to you. And I have a lot of new training hitting today. I worked on it some more last night on best instruments, time frames, and portfolio sets to utilize for going and running your uh, prop firm evaluations and related. So there you have it. Just a quick, uh, more detailed briefing on the morning's action and some updates. And if you have any questions, info at zonealgo.com. Talk to you all later.